Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have this quadrilateral ABCD and from this point D, uh, a line is drawn to point E which is perpendicular to the segment BC and the segment DE also uh, divides the angle at D into two uh, equal angles. And the length of the segments AD is 9 units, AB is 3, BE is 3, and CE is 6. And we are required to find the length of the segment X or DE. Okay, so first thing that we may notice is that this segment, uh, or at this point E, so this is also a 90 degree angle because this is a straight line. And this one is 90 and so the other should be also 90 degrees. Okay, so next is we continue this uh, segment uh, BC. Okay. And we continue this segment AD upwards until these two segments uh, meet at a certain point. So let's call this as segment uh, F. Okay, so next is we focus on these two triangles, this triangle uh, DFE, DFE, and triangle uh, ECD. Okay, so notice that they have a common uh, uh, segment, which is the segment X, and they have two angles that are congruent, these two angles at D, and this another pair which is which are the two angles at E so by uh, A S A congruence uh, these two angles are uh, congruent so uh, D F E and E C D okay so if these two triangles are actually congruent then this uh, this segment uh, F E so FE is equal to uh, CE and if CE is uh, 6 and therefore FE will be 6 also. So if FE is 6 then uh, FE is equal to uh, FB plus BE. So since FE is 6 and BE is 3, so FB will be 3. So FB is equal to 6 minus 3. So FB be equal to uh, 3. So this will be 3 units. Okay, so next is we focus on the angle. So at angle D, I mean point D, there are two congruent angles. So, we can label these two angles as alpha and alpha. And since uh, these two angles, I mean the alpha is uh, forming this, uh, the angles, uh, one of the angles of the three on this, uh, let's say, the, for, if you focus on ECD, so this should be a complementary angle at uh, C. So, let's say that the complementary angle is beta. So, we set that alpha plus beta is 90. And also, and therefore, automatically, this will give us this uh, at angle F. This will be beta because these two triangles are actually congruent. Okay, so next is I want you to notice that this uh, triangle uh, AFB. The triangle at the top is actually an isosceles uh, triangle because of its two sides being three units. So we can actually draw uh, by sector of the segment AF, so uh, perpendicular by sector. So this will be uh, and perpendicular. So we are forming smaller version of this. Uh, the largest, I mean, the largest right triangle. Uh, in, uh, I mean, the large, large right triangle, FED. 
So we are forming a smaller version because if this is an angle beta at f, so this is 90 degrees, and this should be alpha. And same with this, alpha, and this will be beta. Okay, so next is we label the length. So uh, on segment AF, uh, it can be is it divided into two uh, equal segments. So AF divided by two. So let's call a part to be Y. So this, we call this Y. And this should be Y also. And let us call this a segment here as B. Uh, this segment okay so let us call this point g so this point to be g okay so next is we want to isolate these two triangles so uh, uh, g f b so this uh, is we label this as g f b so g f and b this is the right angle, this is beta, and this is alpha. And for the other triangle, we isolate the ECD, so E, C, D, and this is alpha, this is the 90 degrees, 90 degree angle, and this is the beta, and this is the X. And this is the 6. And for the smaller triangle, we go back. So this is Y. And this is B. Okay. And if we focus on the angle alpha. So the hypotenuse. Okay. So for CD, we forgot. So since this are, these two are isosceles. So. Side AD, I mean FD is 9 plus 2Y. So this gives us the value of CD to be 9 plus 2Y also. Okay, so for uh, alpha, okay, the angle alpha, alpha, we use the uh, opposite, opposite over the hypotenuse. So we forgot to label that FB is 3. So opposite over the hypotenuse. So for uh, uh, this uh, triangle uh, GFB, so it will be uh, Y over 3. And for uh, this uh, triangle uh, EDC, it will be 6 over 9 plus 2Y. Okay, so this gives us uh, 6 times 3. If we cross multiply, is equal to 9 plus 2y times y so if we simplify this gives us a, a 18 is equal to 9y plus 2y square so if we put this uh, to the left hand side so or we put this uh, 18 to the right so this becomes 0 is equal to 2y square plus 9y minus 18 so next is we solve this resulting quadratic equation okay so next is we solve this quadratic equation so uh, since this is two at the first uh, term there is a numerical coefficient we multiply this to the third term so we have y square plus 9y minus 36 and we factor this out so it will be a y plus 12 times uh, y minus 3 is equal to 0. And since we multiplied by 2, so we need to divide both by 2. 
So y plus 12 over 2, it becomes y plus 6 times this. We need to put these two on the, multiply this to the numerical coefficient of y. So this gives us 2y minus 3 is equal to 0. And we take both cases. So y plus 6 is equal to 0. It gives us y is equal to negative 6. And the other is 2y minus 3 is equal to 0. It gives us 2y is equal to 3. And if we divide both sides by 2, this gives us y is equal to 1.5 uh, units because this is a length. So since this y, the first y is negative, so since there is no negative distance, we get this y to be uh, 1.5 units. Okay, so next is we have isolated this triangle uh, EDC. So if we get the value of 9 plus 2y, so 9 plus 2y or the segment uh, CD. So CD is equal to 9 plus 2 times uh, 1.5. So 2 times 1.5 gives us 3. So plus 9. So that will be CD. So CD will be 12 units. Okay, so now that we have found the value of 9 plus 2y, which is uh, 12, so this is actually 12. So since this is a right triangle, and we have also the, the shorter leg, which is DE, which is 6 units, so, and the only unknown is the value of x, so which is the length CE. So it will be now easy with Pythagorean theorem to find the value of x. So x is simply the square root of uh, cd cd uh, square minus uh, de square. So x is equal to the square root of 12 square minus uh, 6 square so this gives us the square root of 144 minus 36 so it gives us a uh, 108 square root of that so this x is equal to square root of 108 this 108 can be factored out as a 36 times 3. So since 36 is a perfect square, we can take it out of the radical sign. So this will be x is equal to 6 square root of 3 units for the value of x. And that is our answer. And also I want you to notice that uh, the right triangle is actually a 30, 60, 90 triangle because this uh, hypotenuse is 12 and the shorter leg is uh, 6 units. So this 6 units is half of the hypotenuse. So if it is half of the hypotenuse, then this becomes, uh, this alpha becomes uh, 30 degrees. So 30 degrees. This is the properties of a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So this is a 60. And so this will be simply uh, x squared, I mean 6 squared of 3. If you have this uh, shorter leg, we just multiply this by uh, square root of 3. So this is 6 square root of 3 by using the properties of uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle if you don't like Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.